We want the Sun Coast to be a place that people of all ages can live and thrive, and Sarasota County is part of a worldwide initiative to make that happen. Deborah Jacobs is the president and CEO of the Patterson Foundation, and she joins us today to tell us what age-friendly Sarasota is all about. Welcome, Deborah. Great to be here. Oh, it's great to have you. We're Thank very you. happy you're here. We know that we're going to be hearing this phrase, this designation, quite a bit. Tell us exactly what is age-friendly Sarasota. Age-friendly Sarasota is the moniker for no matter what your age, from birth to whatever, it's about having a quality city that we want to be part of. So there's one thing everybody at this table has in common. Every day we're aging. That's <laughs> so we should not think of aging as a bad word because mm -hmm. we don't like the alternative, whatever our age is. So it's looking at how do people, businesses, nonprofits, government, and media create the story and opportunity for people to connect about what do they want their future to be. Mm. And this is part of a global initiative. What can the Sun Coast, though, how can we benefit from you know, adopting this philosophy? Yeah. Well, whenever we try and learn from other places around the world, whether it's Japan or Denmark or Seattle, we can borrow really cool things and bring them to town, share and embrace them, or not, because we are pretty unique on our own. And Sarasota was the first community in Florida to become part of the World Health Organization's age-friendly network. Mm -hmm. And that's really like shocking because think about it, Florida, and you say aging. Yeah. Sarasota County, demographically, is the oldest community county in the country. Wow. In what? the nature, we we are leading the nation because now we are literally living decades longer than previous generations. I want you to think about something that was Social Security. Everybody knows about Social Security. Mm -hmm. It was put in place for people to get benefits starting at age 62 because people were supposed to die at 68. Wow. You oh weren't supposed God. to be around yeah. 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 Working forever. <laughs> Guess what? We're living longer. So again, what from birth, if it's good for kids, it's probably good for every generation. Just a quick think. Whether you are trying to get your baby carriage down the sidewalk or your sports injury down the sidewalk or your wheelchair, don't that you want the sense. sidewalks to right. be good? <laughs> yes. That's yeah. a good point. So tell us some of the initiatives that you guys are doing locally to participate in this um, endeavor. Okay, well, we, we've had a community um, study where 1,200 people participated in it. Then we did an action plan and we thought, do people really understand what age friendly is? So we decided, why don't we put up? Sarasota likes to party. <laughs> so why don't we put on a festival uh -huh. so that people could come and learn? We've got over 125 different organizations coming to share how they are age friendly. I love it. So b before we get into the festival, mm -hmm. when I hear the word age friendly, I automatically think of are we taking care of our senior population? Mm -hmm. Is it only limited to taking mm -hmm. care of the seniors? No, seriously. It is as important for young families mm -hmm. and older people, because again, we're aging, we can all learn from each other. Oh, yes. Is there anyone who wants our future to be like our past? No. And we're only limited by our imagination mm -hmm. and our conversations mm -hmm. and our embracing the possibilities. But it truly is, if it's good for teens, there's probably something in it that we think about as people who are not teens. Sure, sure. So the, the, the whole initiative kicks off with the festival that's happening this weekend, October 28th. Uh, you said that there will be a lot of different um, vendors there and opportunities for conversation. Tell us what else we can look forward to. Well, and I do want to, because this is why we're doing the festival. Mm -hmm. Age Friendly Sarasota has been around since 2015. Oh, wow. So who knew about it? <laughs> so that's why we're having a festival. So thousands of people can come and learn. So whether you want to come to be entertained, you can come and listen to West Coast Black Theater, or the um, we've got the drum line from Sarasota mm. Military oh, Academy oh, there. Gonna so we're going to have every, every age, every type of art. Whether you like to be educated, I heard you talk a little bit earlier about that fairy idea. Mm -hmm. We've got a panel on nifty and novel ways to get from here to there. Oh, that's okay. Nice. Cool. So I mean, whatever it, we've got either educational modules, entertainment modules, experiences galore for oh. people to experiment. It sounds wonderful. Like well, we're going to be celebrating Age Friendly Sarasota all this week on the Sun Coast View. The Age Friendly Festival will take place Saturday, October 28th 
from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Sarasota Fairgrounds. Admission is free, and the event, like Deborah said, is geared for people of all ages. For more information about the event and the local initiatives that continue after, visit agefriendlysarasota.org. Next, we're going to ask Dr. Jenny all about prostate cancer.